Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're trying to answer a big question today as we see our new Team of the Year loading screen that was released on yesterday, Tuesday, in FIFA Ultimate Team. But today on Wednesday, we're trying to answer a big question. When is the buy time for Team of the Year? It got interesting yesterday with the Kurzawa SBC and a lot of market inflation on some specific cards because i think there were some trading groups out there that said hey when a loading screen drops we should see panic and that's when you need to buy and a lot of people followed that basic advice yesterday we saw neymar rise we saw mbappe rise we saw cristiano ronaldo rise and various special cards across the market rose as well which i think was influenced by you know just some not market manipulation but outside forces not just a natural market rise so i want to talk about that and of course just kind of, again, give you guys the message that it's going to be very, very hard to find the absolute lowest time frame for when you would have the best, absolute best price to buy an item on this game. It's going to be almost impossible to find that. But as long as you know that you're buying in a dip and it's a very popular card or it's just a card you want for your team that a lot of people like to use in this game of FIFA, it's probably going to rise post team of the year with the market inflation, with all the coins that are brought onto the game with lightning rounds, packs, and all that good stuff. So it's not all about getting the absolute lowest price. It's just about getting a low price again. And right now we are in a low time, but I think there might be some opportunities to get some stuff a little bit cheaper than it was today. So first of all, let's talk about what happened on Tuesday yesterday with the Kurzawa, the Neymar, the Mbappe, Ronaldo, and everything like that. So Kurzawa dropped yesterday along with a base mid icon. So SBC fodder kind of got up a little bit. And then also um, we had some uh, loading screen action, which were which was kind of a trigger for a lot of people because a lot of people thought loading screen would cause panic. But think about what we have already had. We have already endured a weekend league sell off where a lot of people have sold cards like Ronaldo, Mbappe, and Neymar off of the weekend already. If we take a look at Monday's graph, you can see the weekend league sell off for Ronaldo. He was 1.04, 1.03 mil, and 8.33 on the Xbox. Now yesterday, what happened? Ronaldo, when the actual loading screen came out, he was still 1.04, but that again tripped the trigger and people said, hey, loading screen, I'm supposed to have a loading screen happens, boom. He goes up to 1.08 mil and he goes up a couple hundred, a couple K on Xbox as well. 860 ish right now on Xbox and 1.07 on the PlayStation. So you saw these market rises basically just because people knew the price was low in a sense. And they knew that this might have been a time to buy. So they followed that advice and they bought. That's what caused a lot of the market rebound and the, the uh, panic buying, I guess, is what you could call it today. Some people are saying, yo, Neymar was influenced by Kurzawa. Yes, I do think he was influenced by Kurzawa. But I'm surprised how many thumbs up this Kurzawa has. I know it's 168K. I think people are doing this SBC purely because you get that green link to Neymar in a 451. That's all you need for the chemistry on the left side. Um, and this honestly is not that good of a card. If you look at the work rates, um, it looks like a decent card stat wise, but the work rates are not that good. But I think people are doing it. And yes, Neymar went up a little bit because of that, but also because of that buyback that I was just showing you with Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, if you bought a card yesterday, if you bought one of these, and it, and it went up, right? If you, if you bought him for anywhere from 840 to 860 on the Mbappe, I mean, if you bought a Neymar, if you bought a Ronaldo, yes, you may have gotten a little bit lower price than where they were last weekend, but this Friday is a huge time for on the, mar on the market for those cards because let's just theorize this for a second, right? Let's just theorize this. You have a lot of people that just bought cards. Those might be the same exact players in FIFA that will be panic selling their cards that they bought earlier this week. If EA drops loading screens that might hint at certain content or certain players in team of the year, or if they drop on Friday team of the year nominees, as well as team of the year cards in packs, or even if it's just team of the year defenders in packs, people are going to see that team of the year cards in packs. And a lot of those saved up packs are going to be opened, which means supply for guys like Ronaldo, for guys like Mbappe, for guys like Neymar and Messi, because they won't be out of packs yet as team of the year items. So their gold cards will be suspect to all that supply. And this year, more than ever, we're seeing these gold cards supplied so much on the market already. And I've constantly warned about this for the past week or so. I, um, I almost don't think that these gold cards will rise too much post Black Friday or post team of the year. I've messed that up twice now, two videos in a row. I've said Black Friday instead of team of the year. I'm stuck in November. Anyway, 
Um, I think these cards are so supplied this year that they're probably just going to keep trickling down for the most part, apart from a few bounces up. And maybe after this team of the year promo, they bounce up a little bit. But I think you will see, if not Friday, after this weekend, weekend league sell-off, when team of the year starts this, this upcoming weekend, I think you'll have another opportunity to buy in on guys like Ronaldo, like Mbappe, like Neymar, because I think you might see some of that panic selling as people want to interact with the team of the year content that comes out in FIFA, as well as that new supply for those cards, people that pack those cards over the weekend with those saved up packs and lightning rounds from Friday. So that's my only worry about those guys. Um, but yes, they have risen back up. No, you're not missing out. I think you'll have another opportunity either Friday or Sunday night into Monday in the weekend league sell-off to buy those cards at a very cheaper and lower price. Now, one thing we also saw yesterday was some very interesting news, and this could add to the Friday hype. I don't know if this is just EA tweeting out that, hey, we have some U23 stars that are in Team of the Year voting. See which ones are going to be in Team of the Year on Friday. Um, but it almost sounded like there was going to be like another vote. It almost sounded like there might be a U23 Team of the Year player vote. But of course, this tweet from here, uh, PlayStation Plus España, uh, says the time of future stars of the Team of the Year is now. Will Joao Felix be among the best U23 winners of FIFA 21? On January 22nd, we will know the results. And they link the voting site. Now, this is from EA's Instagram page. They said there's no time like the present for the future of Team of the Year. Vote the best 23 and under nominees for your Team of the Year side. Link in bio and that was very interesting because that made it sound like hey vote for your best u23 player like this almost might be a separate vote but guys like trent davies and mbappe were already thinking might be in the legit team of the year so we're not too sure what this is but if there was another team of the year player like somehow like a u23 vote put out in the game that would be very very interesting so let's continue to talk about buy times though because some of these out-of-pack special cards are still in quote-unquote buyable areas. They're still down. Zaha, 360 at the moment. That's low. I'm not sure if that's a foot been undercut. Um, but the rest of the out-of-pack special cards market is where I feel the most comfortable heading into this weekend. If you want to make a buy this week, headed into this weekend, or if you want to make, make a buy on possible panic that should be coming, I think, Thursday night into Friday morning, depending on how much EATs team of the year with content, with loading screens and stuff. I think that's going to be your best look. You, is that panic that comes a little bit later this week before the promo on Friday, or even if there's content that's released today on Wednesday or tomorrow on Thursday, I think the out of pack specials informs other team of the weeks and uh, special items on this game is going to be the way to go for, especially this weekend. I think you will see the market rise up on Friday night. Um, but is this the absolute lowest of the lows? That's going to be hard to know because we don't know what content E is going to be putting out. Yes, this stuff is still down, right? De Bruyne, 415. This is going to be a card that I'm watching very, very closely as a buy post team of the year because he's going to get that team of the year item, which people are going to go ooh and ah over because it's going to have insane stats. He's actually going to have pace. He's going to feel good in game. It happened last year. It's going to happen this year as well. And then road to the finals and headliners, right? These cards are very very rare on this game and their their upcoming games where they'll be upgraded for champions league and europa league wins are going to be not too long after team of the year so it might be these sorts of cards are going to get invested in right away and get invested in first by a lot of people because they know those games are coming and they're they're still live items i would keep an eye on these cards on that Friday morning before the weekend league and before team of the year actually drops and even at the content drop, if EA puts out a madness and they put team of the year nominees in packs like at the same time as uh, the first set of whatever team of the year cards are going to come in packs on Friday, I think you'll see more panic then. But I still think with all the saved up packs that will be open, these cards obviously aren't getting supplied. So this is the safest play in my opinion for this week. If you want to make some buys, uh, look, just watch the fluctuations, right? Around 6 p.m. every day, as long as there's not some crazy content that comes out, a lot of these guys fluctuate around, right? Benzema is actually kind of low right now, 150. But then you also have the other end of the spectrum where this Leon Goretzka, who I think is underpriced at 560K, even for the type of card you're getting here, especially with the links you'll get, this guy's up 60,000 coins from his absolute lowest last week on the PlayStation 4 because people are starting to buy up some of these cards as they know, hey, this guy's going to be desired because of the links to team of the year items like Davies that could get in, like Kimmich and like Neuer, that the Bayern links are looking real good 
and a lot of people are starting to buy those cards up. But I don't think you want to, or I think you want to wait until that Friday panic to really see if you see any more dropping in price on these cards. And then you'll have an opportunity to maybe buy some for a rise on Friday night into Saturday. And then you'll, again, I think you'll see a pretty big week at least sell out this weekend. And I think if you don't buy, or if you want to wait to buy, the weekend league sell off on Saturday night, Sunday night, and into Monday morning of this next week could be a good time to get in on some of these cards as well. Because I think whatever content, ooh, we got a sale, let's go. Um, I think whatever content that EA puts out this weekend, or especially with the first weekend of team of the year happening, and then more content, of course, promised, and the full team in packs coming at some point in that second week or after this upcoming weekend, I think you will see more panic selling on the Sunday night time frame as people get out of the weekend league, they sell their cards, and that's gonna be a time where they can sell, get coins, and then interact with whatever content EA has out for the team of the year promo. So that's why I'm saying, I think there are gonna be more windows to buy in on a lot of stuff. Now, of course, you guys like Alaba wrote to the final, Goretzka headliner, those guys are up a lot already. You need to see some panic there. Something big needs to happen for you to even have a shot at getting a good price at those cards since they've already gone up a decent amount. But of course, you can still see Weekend League sell-off happening with those cards as well and get a really good price there after this weekend. So my, my thing is here, I don't think you have to be worried about buying before Friday. All right, you can wait. Everybody else is worried about buying before Friday because that's when team of the year starts and that's when people are gonna get coins and stuff like that. Well, we know that in these promos, EA can drop a madness in terms of content out in this game. And I would not expect team of the year to be lacking content in FIFA, right? I would not expect it at all from what we've seen this year, even with Black Friday and stuff like that. They're, gonna, they're starting team of the year at a new time this year. It seems like they got something up their sleeve and they're gonna make it special. So. I think you can look at Friday morning and you know Saturday, Sunday night as weekly sell-off, those two opportunities for another chance to buy and some of the stuff that may be inflated right now, you might see an opportunity there because of some panic selling. And then of course on Friday at 6 p.m., like I mentioned, if EA drops a madness, you'll probably have another opportunity to buy in there as well on the right cards. So what you would be doing right now is scrolling through these cards, right? Looking at which cards fluctuate a lot on a daily basis. This Koulibaly Road to the Final, Footbin just had it at 466. Now that was an undercut, but this is like the best center back in the Serie A. I don't think a Serie A center back is gonna get in team of the year. I mean, we don't have many Serie A center backs regardless. Not that a ton of people use Serie A teams, but Napoli links. We've got some Napoli special cards in this game, um, and it's just cool to daddy, right? He just He's the best center back in the Serie A. If you want to use this guy, you're going to go get this road to the final version that with another upgrade is going to have probably 90 physical, get close to 80 pace, and be pretty crazy. So, you know, a card like this, it's just so rare, is probably going to rise up a decent amount this weekend and post team of the year. But just kind of watch the rise and fall on these cards, figure out which ones you want to get for your team, which ones you think people might be linking together in their new squads. Just think about the untradeable items even, or the SBCs that people have done in the past couple weeks, right? The Tavernier SBC. A lot of people might be buying English icons this weekend, uh, like Campbell, like Rio Ferdinand, uh, maybe even some like Gerard, right? To link together with that new Tavernier. And then still you have some of the Dutch links with Robin, with Kleiber, you know, Promes went up a lot, Seedorf, Hullet, um, Van Dyke's gold card, right? Van Dyke's uh, record breaker that I have here. I think this card's gonna explode after he was a million coins flat today, right? This card's so rare, he fluctuates around a ton. I think this card's gonna explode after team of the year, right? It's the only other special version of VVD that we have in this game. VVD team of the year is probably gonna be 2.5 to 3 million coins. This card's at a mil. I think this one can easily go up a couple hundred thousand coins because of its rarity and because of that sick card design and uh, the upgraded passing actually that card has. So keep an eye out for some of that stuff. Start plotting, I guess, what cards that you might want to buy and invest in for that rise either out of team of the year or just this one weekend um, and watch for that panic on Friday morning. Now I wanna talk about Thursday flips just for a hot second because I still think there's gonna be an opportunity to buy some cards that will go up a little bit after rewards. What we've seen in this market is a lot of people are taught, taught and told to buy before um, the promos actually come out in the panic selling because we, we know that it's been a big promo that's upcoming and we've seen a lot of selling already. 
I think you'll see a lot of these low tier cards. I love this Kunde. I love this Joao Felix. I love this Bamba, right? The French nationality, the La Liga links for uh, Joao Felix, the Portuguese links with the Bruno player of the month, all the Bruno cards that are out in this game. Um, I just like the under 200,000 coin meta cards this week as cards that I still think people will buy a little bit after rewards, right? We look at rare cards all the time. This Bamba card is one that I enjoy looking at as a very rare item on this game. He fluctuates around a lot in price. I'm a big fan of him, but I'm also a big fan of some other, uh, you know, like Vardy record breaker. Now he's a bit over our 200,000 coin kind of price threshold um, on this game for what we're looking at maybe for a Thursday flip this week. But I still feel like you'll see the market tick upwards 430 for that one right there. That's a bit of an undercut uh, and it's sitting interesting that's just this market is in such a weird spot right now once this 430 sells which i'm tempted to buy it um but you know what his next one's at 450 i have tax of like 22,000 coins here uh i already have one that i bought at 425 so i'm kind of waiting to get a sale on that one so i'm gonna let that one sit but hopefully it gets bought soon um you know you have rare cards like this that kind of rise every single week so you kind of have to take that in consideration and um you know, look at those flipping graphs, right? We look at a lot of graphs each week of cards that rise almost every single week in FIFA. This Zaha second inform is one of them. Take a look at this, right? Even in weeks where there's panic selling, boom, 185 to 220. Back down to 185. Does he go to 220 this week? Probably not. But does he go to 205,000 coins, especially being a second inform, hard to search on the market, and you get lazy sales for a lot? You might be able to get sales at 205, 210,000 coins on this card after rewards because it's very popular. A lot of people like to use it. Five star skills, Premier League, right? You know, if you can find this guy at 185,000 coins like he was earlier today on Tuesday, that could be a pretty good Thursday flip. So 175, wow. So just look around the market. You know, your meta cards, I love using this popular page on Footbin because this shows you the cards that people are searching, right? This Rashford, very popular. Rafinha, even though we've had a lot of right mids. This Renato Sanchez rises every week. He was 235 earlier today. I bought Carrasco's at 150. This guy was 180. The second inform Carrasco was 180,000 coins. A lot of people use this guy to link to um, the, their untradeable player of the month, Joao Felix that they already have in their club. So cards like this, I still think will rise a little bit after rewards today or tomorrow on Thursday. Um, but I wouldn't expect like a crazy, crazy rise, especially because a lot of people probably will just save their packs for the weekend and open their packs when team of the year uh, is actually out in packs. So that's kind of something to think about as well for Thursday flips. But I just want to kind of get on this video today, boys, and talk about buy times and just to kind of reassure you that yes, we saw the market go up a little bit, but there's going to be more opportunities as team there's a huge promo it's not going to be just a quick seven day promo in my opinion i think it might be longer than that because ea know they want to milk it and try to make some money off of it so i think we have more opportunities upcoming to buy cards in this game so if that helped at all leave a thumbs up i greatly appreciate it check the links down below the twitch link TikTok, um discord and instagram uh and of course comment down below if you do have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate the foot account and i will catch you guys later peace out.